We are in an economic crisis. If Europe wants to have a successful economy, it needs firms that can compete for the tasks that add the highest value to a product. And the way they make money and create jobs from those ideas is by turning them into intellectual property, protecting them under the law and ensuring the law is enforced. So as you come to make your choice about how to vote tomorrow, I believe you also need to consider the signal you will be sending to the rest of the world. Honorable members, in case there is any doubt, I'm here to argue that you postpone your decision on ACTA. If you decide for a negative vote before the European Court rules, let me tell you that the Commission will nonetheless continue to pursue the current procedure before the Court as we are entitled to do. A negative vote will not stop the proceedings before the Court of Justice. If the Court questions the conformity of the agreement with the treaties, we will assess at that stage how this can be addressed. However, I expect that the Court will instead find ACTA to be fully in conformity with the treaties. I would consider proposing some clarifications to ACTA. For example, on enforcement in the digital environment. We could look at this in the light of the discussions you will have had on legislative proposals, which the European Commission is set to put before the Parliament and the Council. Or, for example, we could seek to clarify further the meaning of commercial scale. I am also open to a discussion on what sharing information means in relation to the challenges one faces with respect to the protection of intellectual property. It is indeed a new challenge for the classical approach of IPR. But does this discussion not rather have its place in the debate on the substantive law, not in ACTA, which is solely about enforcement? Once we will have identified and discussed these possible clarifications, I would intend to make a second request for consent to the European Parliament. Whether the Parliament will consider it under this legislator or the subsequent one will be for you to decide. Honourable Members, as Europeans, I believe that we all share profound respect for individual freedom. But I also know that freedom needs a framework. In a diverse society, no one is free if freedoms are exercised absolutely. It is a fragile balance and we, all, we should all Read carefully. I hope that you will bear that in mind as uh, you vote. And I thank you very much for your attention, Chairman.